Hello, people. This is Mary Michael Miss with episode 18? 17. 17. That sounds better. No, 15, 16, 17. This might be 18. And in the previous installment, we died right here to this, uh... What's the name of this guy? Sigalith? Mainly because we were not prepared at all. Our Pokemon were weak, and the ones that were full health were the ones that were weakest to this guy. With uh, his Psychic and Flying, so... This time we're, we're well prepared because we're fully healed, and the Spark from this Blitzel will easily KO it. So our Spark was dead last time when we got here, and that was a problem. So, we're better this time. Dart levels up. And we are able to escape unscathed. We should see what happens if... Nah. Well, I'm sure we'll... Oh! There it is. And I didn't run or anything. I just, I guess I just got sucked in. Well, at least there's a Pokeball here. It has a revive. I'm not sure which way... If these are jumpable or not. I think they are. Like, one-way jumps. Kind of like the cliffs that we always see. Here's the yeah mask. I already have one of these, so we're just gonna beat it up with flame charge. Where did I get this? I forget. Uh, oh, I didn't catch one. I actually traded for one. Somebody gave me one for free on BG Chat. So spark is disabled. We can still shockwave and KO. And now we can switch our lead Pokemon because Blitzel's our highest level, so we can put in someone weaker. Maybe... Timber. Yep, uh, that's the jump, and here we are back where we were. Another Yamask. And we send out Timber. Do you ask Psychic? Psychic? I don't know, even though. Rock Throw does barely anything. Chip Away doesn't affect it, so it must be like a ghost. Or it is, must be part, at least partly ghost type. Low Kick, yeah. But why would I try Low Kick after... Ah, oh, I'm such a fail sometimes. Ghost type, oh sorry. Ghost type, so... I don't know. Don't think I have anything helpful on this temple, but we'll just go for Bubble Beam. Ah, oh, this thing's actually wearing us down a bit. Yeah. It's probably ready for capture, though. Maybe we should just capture it anyway, so I can have my own that I actually caught myself. So we can go with Thunder Wave, and now it should be good to go. Throw our Pokeball. Hopefully that's enough. If not, I'll just great ball it. It is enough. It's because it's weakened and paralyzed, so. Now we have our own Yam Mask. Give a nickname. We'll call it Yams. Because that's a cool name, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe so. Yams. And let's see, where's there to go? Oh, one step in. Already. We are up against a sand dial. Should have a water Pokemon up front instead. But, uh, oh, that's because my Timpani already died. That's right. Can't have it. That's why I don't have a water type up. We'll go with Pan Sage. That's for Torment. Seed Bomb should do quite nicely, and it does. Barely any experience, really. It's almost better just to run. Okay, why did I do that? How do I escape without dying? Or can I, once I'm in? I should read what the professor guy says there again. Uh, Scientist-looking man. These darn you masks. Are these the only things I've seen here, even? I should 
to have somebody else who's more effective against them up there. Um, though I don't think I have anything more effective. We'll just send out our starter, Pig Knight. Haze, Flame Charge, Speed Rise, Ability, Disables me, Smog, Avoid, Nightshade, Avoid, Come on, Smog. Oh, not very effective, that fails. Roll out. Yeah, I should have just done that earlier. I'm not disabled anymore. Hooray. So we can go back to Flame Charge. We get the useless crit. And we can move on with our lives. I should just use Repel. But I guess the experience is helpful. Even if it's not too much. Alright, let's read what this guy says. Quicksand, walk through the middle, you'll fall. That's obvious. If you run through it, you'll fall. So I'm supposed to walk. Right? I mean, we'll have to deal with that one up there. Coming up. Oh, I didn't even get to the battle. Wild Pokemon Crawdial. Oh, we've seen... Oh, I keep calling it Crawdial. Sandile and the Yamask. Sounds a lot like Yanma. Assurance. Low kick. Oh, well, I didn't know that I would be super effective against this guy. But that makes sense, because... Type... Uh, ground... Fighting... Sure. I forget my... Uh, combat table thing. Type... Type effectiveness. Here's a... Psychic Dua... Dua... An interesting name. Wubat, that's flying. It's probably not too good against... Uh, well, it's good against me, but I'm not going to be good against it, so... We'll swap out into Blitzel. Blitzel will use... what? Spark? I think that's the move I have on here. Spark. Critical hit, though I'm not too sure it's necessary. Mana well, warns my spark. That's pointless. Sorry. Thunder wave. Paralyze. Hypnosis. Man, this I don't like this desert. It's annoying. It's like sandstorm and all this. Even though there's no sandstorm inside here, it's just I don't know. I like the desert. It's all like dry and sandy. That's what a desert is, pretty much. So you healed. The air, air keeps healing again. That's annoying. The air cutter hypnosis. Oh, come on. No sleep claws or something. Obviously not. AI wouldn't care about your fail sleep claws. Okay, that moonlight. It's not cool at all. So we're gonna have to make our attack stronger with a few workups. Keeps going for Zen Headbutt. We'll be able to roost that off. If he gets another one off. Okay, I avoided that hypnosis, which is awesome. But he avoids my air cutter. Par paralyzed works though. There you go, we almost KO'd. Quick attack will finish. Yay. Finally got that annoying mana out of the way. Those healer types. If you don't have something that can do more damage, they'll just heal you. And he or not heal you, they'll heal all the damage right off. So do I walk around the perimeter? Step by step? Is this going to be a double battle? Do I have a suitable second Pokemon ready? Um, my Pokemon are all like weakened or asleep. Except for Pansage. Oh well. Okay. He's gonna re remove the sand. Oh, I get a choice of a fossil that I want. Um, I'm not sure, so... I'll have to decide at some point. Oh, we can't advance here until sometime. 
And I tried to run, which is obviously not cool. Because we're just sent down here. So we can't explore the rest of this place until that guy clears out the sand. And we won't know when that happens. I would assume it would take another badger to or some other event to occur for all that stuff to be cleared. We're gonna run. So we will return to Relic... Relic, what's it called here? At some other point in time. That almost makes me feel sad for having gone here and dying earlier. Losing to that, uh... Segalith? I forget what it was called. Something lift. As in writing. And another wild battle. The mask. And we're just gonna run. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna use a repel because this one step, one battle, one step, one battle is just ridiculous. I'm just gonna repel. So we can kill and heal at least. Then we'll battle, start battling again. Oh, I found a black glasses here earlier, and an ether with my douse, dousing machine. Black glasses raise the power of dark type moves, but I don't really have a dark type Pokemon that can use that too well. I mean, I have bite on one Pokemon, but that's not going to be enough for me to use black glasses on it. Or, uh, have it hold black glasses. So I think this is the only thing that's of worth around here. I mean, this is the... I already went in here earlier, and it's just like the exit. Like, it's a one-way thing. Exit for the Relic Cave. And, yeah, one way, and this is the wrong way. Found a heart scale, so hopefully we'll be able to find someone who can teach... Um, moves that you've forgotten, but you would normally learn leveling up. So that's okay, I guess. And there's some trainers here that I haven't fought, but... Oh well. Obviously we'll be coming back here at some later point, so... Now we have to head back, and where there was that fork in the road earlier, we're gonna have to head north, as opposed to east. No, I went west. But I'm heading east now. Because we went west and east is the opposite of west. Again, I'm just babbling because we're just uh, trying to make our way back. Oh, I guess my rappel wore off when I wasn't paying attention. So we're going to beat up this Scraggy, which should be no problem. Because super effective, low kick, I guess it's super effective against dark type, right? And yeah. And yeah. Probably should have healed again at the doctor. Oh wait, no. When I passed the doctor, I think I was fully healed already, so. Here we go. Now we're gonna head north. And yeah, there's a truck, and here's a battle. Yes, I do meet another traveling trainer. Who happens to be a backpacker. Backpacker Jerome! He's got two dogs. That's a bad matchup for me. At least he doesn't have a tranquil like I do. So we're gonna swap it out. We could go into Blitzel, but I do want uh, Timpani to get some experience too. Should probably give Timpani the EXP share if he doesn't have it already, or she. I think Bubble Beam will... Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to be that effective. But it is. Okay. Yeah. Is this the city already? Wow. Wait, is this the city? Maybe it's not. But it's something. Something's going on here. Professor Juniper and Sharon. Elisa called and was asking me all about, and I thought about you guys. So. Freebies? Awesome! Excited. What do we get? Oh, Ultra Balls. Cool. Can we catch uh, Pokemon that are tougher to catch, I guess. Like higher levels. See if it wants to be sure you use a good type. Yes, I agree. 
I'm the one who asked you to complete the boat decks. Please enjoy your journey. Oh, we're having a blast. Except when we get owned in deserts and by gym leaders. Of course, I'm not saying you just neglect the, uh, obviously. I do try and catch Pokemon when I have the opportunity. Is Sharon gonna ask me to battle? To send us on a journey. At least that's what my mom told me. I want us to go out and see the world. So my mom, the and your mom made it okay. So we are seeing the world then. I think I'd like to show the professor my thanks. Going to rot forward, catching some Pokemon I haven't caught yet. I don't think I caught all the Pokemon there either, but I don't know. Name Bossa City is straight ahead. Let's see what's happening in this city. That's why we now have the battle subway. Oh, okay. I have no idea what the battle subway is, but maybe we'll find it up ahead. Oh, we're in Nabasa. Uh oh, plasma. Gramps, we know you run the daycare. Oh, this is the daycare guy. I wonder if this is another daycare like one that's here. As opposed to the one that was behind Nacreen City, I think. Oh, a strong looking trainer. Oh, he must mean me. Oh no, a battle. I don't know if we're up to this. We probably are. It's only Team Plasma, anyway. So here we got Watch Hog. So I've got my 2x4. Oh, I still do have my 2x4 up. We will make short work, and it's only level 18. That's a lot weaker than the Pokemon we were seeing at the Relic Cave for like level 24, weren't they? Or 20, at least 20, 22 or so. Darts level 26. He must have the EXP share. Forgot to remove it from him. Trubbish, we don't have one of these yet. But it's a uh, poison type. I forget where we saw it last. Somewhere. Toxic spikes. Oh boy. That's okay. We won't switch out, so we won't be affected by toxic spikes. Awesome. Do I have to fight the other grunt too? Nope. They are going to run like cowards. Thank you so much. Token of my gratitude. A brand new bike! Oh, that is so cool! Wait, there wasn't a bike salesman this time? That's a new one. So this guy just has a bike and he's gonna give it to me for saving his life. That is awesome. Oh, look at that. It's got... Uh, I don't know what it's got, but it's a nice bike, I'm sure. I have a daycare on Route 3. Oh, that's the daycare that he was, we were at before. He's got my Rogan Rolla, I think. Alright. Oh, Bianca! Wow, it's a party. Not really. It's just us two now. Amusement park, big stadium, small court, battle subway. There's a lot to explore around here, certainly. Pokemon musical? Well, we definitely have to see that, too. Pokemon musical, that's it. That must be a dream come true. Not really. So we're gonna... Well, 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 excuse me. I have no idea what I'm trying to say here. I know what I'm trying to say. It's a bicycle. We're going to register that, and if I just press Y, I'll be able to ride the bicycle, but we don't want to bother with the dousing machine, so we'll just pick just the bicycle. So I just press Y, hooray, and we can cruise around town, and clearly there's a lot to see. There's Bianca, she must be at the Pokemon Musical, here's the Poke Center. And we're going to go in here, heal our Pokemon, and you know, see if they have Ultra Balls yet. No, that's okay. So we don't really need, we already got some. Probably want some more Repels. Oh, Super Repels are way better than Repels because they're uh, cheaper for step-by-step -step and you don't have to use them as often. But yeah, step per cost, or like, you know, uh, each cost, or each step costs less using a super repel. I think they cost more for a max repel. So I think super repel is the best. And we're gonna buy more Pokeballs, because I always run out. And we're gonna buy them ten at a time, because you, then you get a Premier Ball. So we're just gonna buy a ton. And we'll never have to, uh, buy them again, pretty much. Great Balls, even though I don't really need them at this point yet. Oh, what's what's going on over here? Nimba City Rocks. Oh, 
Wow, strength. Somewhere near this Pokemon Center. Okay, I'm sure I'll get that soon. Mincino, Route 5. I don't think I've gotten to Route 5 yet, so. There's a, clearly a lot to do around here, and we will visit all around uh, the city, I guess, in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in and tuning out. This is Mary Michaelmas.